Croeso i'r ddyletswydd economaidd gymdeithasol. Ffilm wedi'i recordio ar gyfer uwch arweinwyr y sector cyhoeddus, a rai sy'n ymwneud a ffendyfyniadau strategol allweddol, fel prif weithredwyr, cadeiraddion, aelodau etholedig, aelodau bwrdd ac arweinwyr llywodraethu. Dyl ar ffilm hon gael esteriad ochr yn ochr ar dogfennau cantlaw. Mae'r ddyletswydd economaidd gymdeithasol yn rhoi'r cyfle i ni wneud pethau'n wahanol yng Nghymru, gan sicrhau bod cydryddoldeb wrth galon penderfyniadau strategol. Never has there been a more pertinent time to act. Earlier in the summer we saw the Black Lives Matter protests which highlighted systemic and structural racism in our society. The COVID-19 outbreak has also brought huge challenges to our communities. It has become clear though that certain groups have been affected more than others, for example, black Asian and minority ethnic people, disabled people, women and young people. The socio-economic duty requires public bodies when making strategic decisions, such as deciding priorities and setting objectives, to consider how their decisions may help reduce inequalities associated with economic disadvantage. What do we mean by strategic decisions? Um, so these are the sorts of things that bodies will be um, making all the time. Um, for some bodies, they may make more strategic decisions than others. Some might be annual, such as um, thinking about organisational planning or budget setting. For others, they will be more ad hoc and routine, such as um, thinking about procurement or um, revisions of services and commissioning decisions, for example. Ultimately, through improving how we think about socio-economic disadvantage, we should ultimately be improving outcomes for people in Wales. Byddwn yn nawr yn clywed mwy am yr hyn a alygwn pan yn trafod anghydryddoldebau o ran canlyniadau, sef y gwahaniaethau mesuradau hynny mewn canlyniad, rhwng y reini sydd wedi profi am fantais economaidd gymdeithasol a gweddill y boblogaeth. We know that in Wales more people are reliant on social welfare than other parts of the UK. We know that 23% of people in Wales are living in poverty and that rises to one in three when we consider our children. We know that children on free school meals don't attain the same levels at GCSE and A level than their peers. We know that 17% of our workforce is in insecure and precarious work that's low paid. And we know that ethnic minorities are overrepresented in the gig economy. If we together focus on the biggest inequalities in Wales, we can make a difference. We can make a difference for our children so that those on free school meals can attain better, can go on to university, can get a well-paid job. Together we can do it using the socio-economic duty. I work in communities where uh, every day you know, this is felt uh, by the parents uh, and then the young people as well who are sometimes having to leave school and step up to uh, find a job and often they're not living wage paid jobs to help uh, pay the bills so I think you know we can't afford to leave anybody behind and I think it's really important that we definitely you know tr you know hold to account those organizations who are affected or impacted by the social economic duty uh, and uh, yeah I look forward to you know bringing members of the community into that process so we can gen generally hear from those most affected about how we can help and support them uh, you know live decent lives. Bydd cynrychiolwyr cyrff sector cyhoeddus prethnasol yn nawr yn rhannu eu disgoliadau ar gyfer y ddyletswydd, gan drafod beth fydd y ddyletswydd economaidd gymdeithasol yn ei olygu'n ymarferol. So, mae cyngor Dinas Casnewydd yn croesawu'r ddyletswydd economaidd gymdeithasol ar gyfle i ddatblygu ein ystyriaeth o anghydryddoldeb pan yn gwneud pendafyniadau sy'n effeithio ein cymunedau. Drwy'r ddyletswydd, rydym yn obeithiol y bydd yn gwneud penderfyniadau gwell yn arwain at well canlyniadau i'r bobl casnewydd. O fewn y cyngor, ni'n gwneud penderfyniadau strategol mewn nifer y ffyrdd, trwy ein iwsoddogion ni a trwy ein prosesu democratiaeth. Bydd angen i ni'n feddwl am sut fyddwn ni'n casglu testiolaeth cywir i gael ystyried y ddyletswydd yn iawn a cefnogi ein elodau etholedig i ddeall beth fydd yn cael ei ddisgwyl o nhw. Ar lefel polisi, bydd angen i ni ystyried amser ac adnoddau i ddeall yn llawn yr effaith y newidiadau ac i gefnogi hyn, byddwn nhw'n gwneud newidiadau i'n prosesu asesu effaith ac yn gweithio i ddarparu hyfforddiant i holl staff a swyddogion perthnasol. 
Fel arweinydd yn cyfer Sir Ceredigion, rwy am weld y dyletswydd newydd yma yn arwain at ganlyniadau gwell i bobl Ceredigion yn gymdeithasol ac yn economaidd wrth gwrs. Ond er mwyn i ni allu gwneud penderfyniadau gwybodus, bydd set o gwestiynau ganol ni ar effeithio economaidd gymdeithasol yn cael eu cynnwys yn ein hasysiadau effaith integredig a bydd hyn yn helpu i nifel aelodau etholedig a'r grŵp arweiniol i rhoi sylw ddyledus i effeithio economaidd gymdeithasol yn ein proses o wneud penderfyniadau a rhoi polisiau yn ei lle. Rydym well, eisoes ar enghraifft wedi cynnwys y dyletswydd economaidd gymdeithasol fel dwi'n newydd sôn yn yr asesiad effaith integredig ar gyfer ein strategaeth newydd ar gyfer mynd i'r afael a chaledu. Nod y strategaeth yma yw datblygu ymateb strategol cydgysylltiedig a chydlynol i risg ymhyddol cledu a wynebu'r gan ein dynasyddion oherwydd goblygiadau y pellgarheiddol COVID-19. Ar hyn o bryd, mae'r Cyngos Hir Ceredigion yn gwneud cynlluniau i draws newid yn y system gofal, yn gwasanaethau gofal cymdeithasol ac, ac i newid i greu yn fwy o wasanaeth integredig. Mae traws newidiad hwn yn benderfynol strategol mawr a byddwn ni'n cynnwys y ddyletswydd economaidd gymdeithasol yn rhan o'r gwaith neu o'r, o'r meddylfryd um, y tu ôl i'r gwaith yma a gwrs gwrs fydd o yn yr asesiad effaith hefyd. In Public Health Wales, we're working hard to embed the duty in how we work across the organisation, how we strengthen our organisational culture, how we engage with people, how we scrutinise our decision making. It's embedded in all aspects of our work. For our staff and our colleagues who work in policy development, the duty is actually giving them more opportunities to gather evidence through working with others, engaging collaboratively, in what works to tackle inequalities. Now in Public Health Wales, the board makes a number of significant strategic decisions, our long-term strategy, our integrated medium plans, and our annual operational plans, all those the board approves. And they all focus on what we can do working with others to protect the public and to tackle health inequalities. And in that way, hopefully reverse socio-economic disadvantage. From Public Health Wales' perspective, the socio-economic duty is vital. It's central to our work. We are embedding it across everything we do in the same way that we've done with the Future Generations Act and all to look to reverse socio-economic disadvantage that is so devastating for so many disadvantaged groups in our population. The health of our communities is a vital and important responsibility for the Health Board and this duty we believe will enhance our ability to undertake the requirements of that uh, duty. This important duty will help underpin our planning systems. We have very good information at the moment on health inequalities within our communities and we also know the action that improves well-being for them. But we feel that the duty should enhance the joint planning that already takes place. By the an hour, a mindum line if the Athrol are wing with our rice in Gwneud Pendavaniadae or an Roy Sikroyd but Salud Deledis with the Roy. So when making an effective decision, I'd be looking to see if sufficient evidence has been provided. Are there gaps within the evidence provided is an initial question I'd be asking myself. I'd also be looking to see what consultation has occurred and whether or not those communities directly affected by the decision have been consulted. In Bridgend, like other local authorities, we do take the duty to consult, engage and involve our residents in our decision making really seriously and we'd particularly like to hear from those with lived experience of socioeconomic disadvantage. Another question I'd be asking is what would the impact or likely impact of the decision be on inequality of outcome for those with socioeconomic disadvantage? Are we, as a result of the decision, putting in place mechanisms and systems that help them overcome disadvantage? Or are we putting in place mechanisms and systems that act as a barrier and if they do act as a barrier what can we do differently 
Another thing I would be considering is the intersectionality and we know that those with socioeconomic disadvantage usually come from a protected characteristic. Nid yw'r ddyletswydd economaidd gymdeithason cystadlu nac yn diasteru ddyletswyddau eraill, fel ddyletswydd cydryddoldeb y sector gyhoeddus a'r ddyletswydd llesiant, o dan ddedd y llesiant cenedlaethau'r dyfodol Cymru 2015. The socioeconomic duty is an important new duty which will help us to think about how we also meet the goal of a more equal Wales in the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. So it's really important that we don't see this as an added extra burden and that we integrate it with other duties. Some of the things that you should be thinking about is how you consider the socioeconomic duty in developing wellbeing assessments and plans how you consider the requirements of the socioeconomic duty in how you set your wellbeing objectives and how you assess the impact of your decisions in line with the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act, but also more specifically considering the socioeconomic implications of the things that you're doing. Everything is connected to everything, so making sure that we're addressing socioeconomic disadvantage will also be contributing to the goal of more prosperous Wales. Understanding the implications in terms of those living in poverty and why they live in areas of high air pollution will be part of meeting our goals around a more equal Wales and around a resilient Wales. Understanding the wider and socioeconomic determinants of health will be important to meeting the goals of a healthier Wales and a more equal Wales. So it's important that you think about this holistically. Don't see it as an added extra, embed it in everything that we do and make sure that you're integrating the way that you deliver this new duty. By the Nunclaia film, Troy Glywed Sipmar the Letzoid Alban Dec Achengweithio, I Hefaith Hidema. So impact so far have included that elected members in councils now have a broader awareness of the potential impact of budget saving proposals. And this has meant that the removal of some services, which would have had a disproportionately negative impact on those living in socioeconomic disadvantage, has been halted. A lot of organisations have reported that there have been a range of opportunities realised as, as a result of the introduction of the duty. For example, it's helped to raise the profile of poverty and inequality and make links to the socioeconomic determinants of health. There have also been more opportunities to consider the potential consequences of decisions and potentially avert negative outcomes. Training on the duty has given increased confidence to some senior managers and board members to challenge decision making in relation to inequalities. An introduction of the duty has been used to shine a light on inequalities and make policy and practice connections to other areas, for example housing or welfare reform, child poverty and community engagement and empowerment. Duties facilitated improved collaborative working and there's been the development of shared understanding of socioeconomic and financial pressures across partners and stakeholders. From an economic perspective, it has allowed for more rigorous assessment linked to inclusive growth ambitions. And at a strategic level, there's been an improvement in thinking about promoting fairness in economic outcomes. Cyhoeddodd Llywodraeth Cymru gan llawiau anstadidol ar y cyntaf webrill 2021. A ers hynny, rydym wedi darparu cyfres o adnoddau i helpu cyrff gyhoeddus i baratoi ar gyfer y ddyletswydd. Mae'r adnoddau yn cynnwys tablau ffeithiau, cwestiynau cyffredin, Cyfloiniad i gyrff gyhoeddus ei ddefnyddio'n fewnol i godi ymwybyddiaeth, gwybodaeth am anghydryddoldebau o ran canlyniad sy'n gyffredin yng Nghymru, a dogfen framwaith craffi i gefnogi rai sy'n rhoi sicrwydd bod sylw dyledus wedi ei rhoi. Mae rai niw gweld ar ein gwefan. Cynherchwyd yr adnoddau hyn gyda mewnbwn gan ran ddeliad allweddol a chynrychiolwyr o gyrff gyhoeddus y bydd y ddyletswydd yn debygol o fod yn berthnasol iddynt. Yn ogystal, byddai swyddogion Llywodraeth Cymru yn hapus i ymuno a thema uwchawenyddiaeth i drafod y ddyletswydd. Cysylltwch â ni ar ein cyfeiriad blwch post. Dyletswydd, economaidd, gymdeithasol, at llyw, dot Cymru. Diolch am eich amser. Diolch am eich amser.